Yeah, yeah, I got it. Okay. Quart of milk, dozen loaves of bread, and an egg. No, quart of milk, dozen le Hey, you know what? I got to go. I got to take care of this video right now. I'll call you, yeah, I'll call you back later. Hey, church family, do you ever get distracted? No, seriously. Well, this week I came across a new term, which if you haven't heard of it, you might want to add to your vocabulary. Vocabulary? Yeah, your vocabulary. Add it to your vocabulary arsenal. It's productivity shame. Productivity shame. It's a term that explains why you feel like you've never done enough. You sit down at your desk in the morning and prepare yourself to be seriously productive. You crank up your favorite Spotify playlist, fire up your laptop, grab a cup of coffee, and resolve to get to work. But then, things don't go as the way you plan them. You get interrupted by coworkers. Your inbox explodes. Notifications, text messages, Zoom meetings, reminders, and voicemails pour in throughout the day. Before you know it, it's 5.30. You've made some progress on your goals, but nothing like you hoped. You were able to strike some things off of your to-do list, but you added more things than you removed. The result is a deep sense of shame, feeling like that you could always have done more than what you got accomplished, and what you got accomplished just wasn't enough. Well, this weekend, as we come together for worship, we're going to be looking at someone, the story of someone who probably never struggled with productivity shame. I'm talking about someone who I would guess was very organized, was able to get just about every single thing done that she set out to do, someone who was extremely efficient, and yet someone who in the process ran the risk of missing out on what should have been the number one item on her list, the thing that should have been the most important thing. If you want to get a head start on where we're going this weekend, I encourage you to read her story in Luke chapter 10, verses 38 to 42. And then join us for worship this weekend as we look at the question, where is God when I'm distracted? Hope to see you for worship this weekend.